how did you end up going to to Paris with West for Fashion Week? How did that all come together? Um, God, uh, for one, you know, I always gotta make light of that shit. Um, and I'm like, I've told this story a lot, and I'm in every way I'm trying to, or every new interview I try to tell it in a different way, and not to be long winded, because as you see, like I'm very long winded with what I gotta say. Um, but ultimately, man, it was a chance. Like I took a chance. You feel me? I had a conversation with Wes, and he told me he was going randomly. Like it was just a random conversation about something else. He like, oh, I'm going and. If you know Wes, he do random shit like that. Like, he'd just be like, oh, fuck, I'm going to do this and mm-hmm. do it. So I'm like, shit, if you going, I got to go. Like, I just <laughs> got, like, I got to go. Like, I just can't. You can't be the only, I got to go. Like, I got to see what this is like. And I'm like, you going out there. Let me just see what this shit is like. It's going to be interesting. Had no idea what was going on. I knew it was Fashion Week. And, like, I've been studying I've been down there training for Fashion Week, like just waiting to go out, try to go a couple of times and different shit, like stop me from going. Mm-hmm. So at this time, I'm like, shit, if I can get my passport, and I knew you get it expedited in a week. So I'm like, shit, if I get my passport, I'll meet you out there on Friday. This was the Thursday before. So I'm like, it's gonna probably take a week. Get the shit next week. I'll catch you for like three days. So I end up going to the passport joint and they told me come back Monday, and uh, this is God. Cause like if I'd have went Friday, I'd have put it in for a week, and it took that long. Mm-hmm. But they was like, yo, if you come back on Monday, you come early enough, you might be able to get it the same day. So I'm like, shit. So I had a show that weekend. It was Esco and Friends. So uh, we did Esco and Friends, and that shit ended up selling out crazy. Like, the, was this at Nietzsche's? Yeah, yeah, we like that sold Nietzsche's out. Like we packed crazy. that shit out. Fucking stupid. And um, man, I was staying at the Aloft at the time because I had just built, um, or they just built it. And I'm like, shit, this hotel in the city, got the view. I'm feeling like I'm trying to be on my Kanye shit, record mm-hmm. my next project. So, um, yeah, man, I went, got my passport that day. I was scrambling, ended up buying my ticket. Like, went, applied for my passport, bought my ticket. Got my passport, packed the hotel up. I had studio shit in. I was staying there for two weeks. Took all my shit home, drove to Toronto with my mom. Shout out to my mom. She the GOAT. Drove to Toronto at like 4.30 and got there just in time. Now, mind you, I just told this nigga, like, shit, I'll meet you there. I ain't tell him nothing else. Like, I'm just like, I'll meet you there. (laughs) And did you tell anybody else she was going? Nah, niggas had <laughs> just seen me Saturday. I knew, I knew, I knew he was going because he called. I was up with my brother at the oh, time. Oh yeah, he called my brother a, like, "Yo, I need an emergency hair." Yeah, cut. I need a cut. <laughs> <laughs> need an and the nigga hair. even cut me, man. I was in my fucking Paris looking. But you know what? I ain't even. Yo, I was in Paris looking mad scruffy, but it played played perfect. I was still beautiful. So um, yeah, man, I um. Man, that shit was crazy. It happened so fast. Like, and I was so nervous. Cause I'm like, part of me was like, man, I could save all this money and, you know, flip it and keep mm-hmm. moving. And like another part, like, fuck it. It's only, you know, you got one shot. Yeah, once in a lifetime experience. Yeah. So I'm like, damn, bro. And everything was just moving. I'm like, if I get this passport, I'm gonna buy this ticket. And I got my passport at 12. I bought my ticket at one. And it was like six hundred dollars round trip. But I'm like, shit, I gotta get to sure. Toronto. And then it's crazy. Again, God, I call my man, who's going? He's DJ, like road manager and a security guard. I'm like, yo, can I ride with y'all? I got my ticket. They like, nah, you gonna take too long. We we on our way. These niggas end up being late. Missed a flight. Rock Nation, they was on Rock Nation budget. So them niggas was cool. They don't know nothing about me. I just told niggas I was coming two days ago. Mm-hmm. So if I would have went with them, I'd have missed my flight. I'd been fucked. So I'm like, bet I get on a flight, and I'm like, yo, I'm about to go to Paris. Like, this shit crazy as hell. I'm about to go to Paris, get to Paris. How long of a flight is it from Toronto to Paris? It was, Probably so like we had to Paris. fly to Montreal, uh-huh. and then from Montreal, oh my God. It's like 11. Eight. Then Montreal, we had to run around the fucking, oh, that terminal was so far, bro. I thought he was going to miss the flight. I was sweating and shit. Shit was ridiculous. Get to Paris, I'm like, I right, bet. And once we in Paris, 
where the airport is, it's like outside of the city. So it's where the hood is. So when you going through, it's mad graffiti and shit. Shit look, it look raw because it look like New York. But it's like, yo, this shit crazy. Like we in fucking Paris right now. Like, so then we go through the first day and it's just chill. We meet up with Wes. Everybody get together. We go get some food. We go get weed. Check into the hotel for a day. Smooth. I'm like, damn, I bet niggas is in Paris. Like, but it don't hit <laughs> me yet. It's like the next morning we wake up and it's like, oh no, nah. matter of fact, that same day we had to go to off white fitting. So I'm like, oh shit, like y'all niggas got shit to do. <laughs> so I'm like, I bet. Mind you, I had to pack in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. I was just throwing shit, and I picked some of the greatest shit. <laughs> Yo, bro, that shit got me on GQ, Vogue, one fucking all type yeah, of shit. Some iconic pictures. Oh bro. man, so um, fuck. So yeah, I, I we we get there, whatever. They like, yeah, we gotta go to a fit. So I'm like, I right, bet we go to off white fit. As soon as I walk in, I see my man Artie on the board, on the model board. I'm like, yo, this nigga from Buffalo. That's so, tough. Like shit. So I'm talking to the lady. Now they it, like, cause they just interested in West. Like, no mm -hmm. one knows I'm here. Like, who is this nigga? Mm -hmm. But I'm doing my own thing and I'm knowledgeable. I know all this hey, shit. shit. So it's like this shit, I know more than these niggas. Mm -hmm. I know about the brand. Then it's off white, it's Virgil. I've been into it. So I watched it grow. So now I'm really sitting there like, yo, I'm really in off white before the show. Now it's starting to hit me like, damn, this shit is crazy. Like, and then the next day we go to Off White show, and that's when shit just was like, I found that beret looking for a charger because <laughs> niggas don't got phones. When you go to Paris or anywhere in Europe, get a fucking converter and get a SIM card because Wi Fi is terrible. The Roman charges cost oh, mad bread. <laughs> And niggas ain't had no phone for a day. So no one knew we was there. We ain't had no communication. Bro, so we go to the off-white show. And then that's when shit get lit. We hop out the whip. Mind you, we got blunts in our hand. This nigga got a ski mask on, hella jewelry. And that's the camera. Now they like, I got the off-white coat on. So they like, who the fuck? And we came late. These <laughs> niggas, man. Buffalo niggas. <laughs> So we come late and they looking like, who the fuck? Mad pictures, just shit. Now I'm like, okay, this shit fire. They escorting us in the backstage. I'm not going to lie, bro. I've always dreamed of like going to Paris and just finessing mm -hmm. or seeing niggas. And I'm like, yo, if we in Paris, I'm from the States, you from the States, and we niggas. We gotta yeah, 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 we got it. So that was my whole plan. Like, I'm going to go to Paris, I'm going to run in the Yay. I'm going to run into Virgil. I'm going to run into Rocky. I'm going to run into, like, these brands, these people. And I end up running into a couple of them people along my journey and you shit. To, you got to run into Virgil at the off-white joint? Yeah. So, when, like, I, as soon as we got escorted in, see my man, Audie, first person. I'm like, fuck, now he's here. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. shit, give him a big hug. Everybody looking like, how the, who? Mm -hmm. Why are you hugging my model? Like, but it's it's love. It's not like a bad thing. It's just like very interested. Like, who are these people? And then Wes is talking to uh, Virgil. I'm talking to Audie. And then this lady come. Her name was damn Mimosa. Her name was Mimosa. That's fire as fuck. <laughs> she did it. And she was like, yo, how do you know this person? Like, just randomly. Like, how do you know him? Like, who are you? Mm -hmm. Just doing an interview, like, right on the spot. But I'm talking to her, and now she like, who is this nigga? I'm, you know, I could talk. So say that to say they seen me doing my thing, and then Virgil and them just, like, waved me over. 